it is school holidays are, are right there we can we can smell them um and that th therefore means that there's some great films out for the holidays and i was at a, a film recently and the shorts for anne of green gables came on and i get really captivated by these period pieces as you guys well know by now my friend who was sitting next to me she goes <sighs> I cannot wait not to see that. Oh, wow. And I was like, really? oh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> it looks like a beautiful film. It's obviously based on Ali Montgomery's book, which was huge. Martin Sheen's in this one too, but have a wee look. An orphan. What in heaven's name are you thinking? Hello? We're expecting a boy. Where's he? Must have been a mix-up. Are you Mr. Matthew Cuthbert of Green Gables? My name is Anne Shirley. Please, let me stay at Green Gables forever. Anne Shirley, why are you always causing so much trouble? Red hair makes it easier to be bad than good. Do all of your little friends behave like you do? <laughs> well, that looks all right. Yeah. Oh, no, I reckon that looks really yeah. good. I love those books as a so, child, all the Anne of Green yeah. Gables books. And I had a thought, the great thing about this is that you can get them to watch the movie and then you bring out the book and that's the rest of the school holiday sorted. So I know, I was like finally that. just thinking that. Yeah. I finally get to understand what Anne of Green Gables is about because I'm just not a reader. So yeah. <laughs> I can watch the movie. <laughs> um, now, there's another Ice Age film. Uh, you know, I was thinking about this. I was like, have we had enough? Well, the answer to that is no, we haven't. Uh, and, of course, Scrat the Squirrel, which is a, a tongue twister for me. I find it a little hard to say it sometimes. Scrat the uh, Squirrel. As we know, he's, he's always on the hunt for that acorn, and this time, well, it, it catapults him outside of Earth. Have a wee look at this, though, because there's a character that I particularly love called Buck. Don't worry, man. I'll catch the crew that poached your egg. <laughs> it's a pun. I'm winking under the eye patch. A mother is crying, a damsel in distress. Foreboding intruders have made such a mess. What I detect is a lack of respect for all that is precious and dear. I am the pine size protector of this lost world. But my friends call me Buck. Well played, guys. Never fear, you've, you do have Manny and Diego nice. and Sid in so there as well. They're not in the Ice Age anymore, they've... Well, the, the, what happens is Squat, Squat goes into space and kind of triggers a whole lot of asteroids and things which, would, which put them at risk. So, OK, then. Yeah, OK. Yeah, it's, good. It's, well, you know what? If you're a, if you're a seven-year-old, you're going to love it. Or if you're a 29-year-old, you're probably going to love it too. But I, I'm not willing to comment on that. Yeah, I know, you know, I'm the 29-year-old. Uh, no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Everyone laughs. No, I actually watched Finding Nemo the other day. Finding Dory? I, yeah, no, yep. Finding Nemo. Oh, the original. The, the original one. Yeah. And I just sat there and I thought, wow, that's so cool, just to escape and, you know, not think about stuff. But I really enjoy an animated movie made for kids. Although you do look a little bit strange when you're in the cinema and you don't have a child. <laughs> As I said, you need to borrow Mal's kids. <laughs> like I do when you go True. to the movies. I will. <laughs> um, another one based on a book and certainly a very popular book, Who Can Go Wrong? with with Rod Dahl and the BFG. Have a look at this beautiful film. <laughs> Why did you take me? Because I hear your lonely heart. I was hearing all the secret whisperings of the world. So, the late screenwriter of E.T., Steven Spielberg, I mean, that speaks for itself, and really, that's doesn't just, it? that's a classic yep. book that all kids love, and it looks yep. like it's been done really beautifully. Uh, mm. Absolutely. That would be my number one pick for the holidays. Nice and work. Jermaine Clements in it as well. Right, I as did well. not know that. Yes, there you go. You're welcome. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks, Braden, and we will catch up with you tomorrow to see what's on over the weekend.